right then, I'm at um, Eaton Sock, I don't know how you pronounce it, and I've had quite an interesting afternoon actually. I thought it was going to pour up a rain, it sort of eased up a bit. Um, I got drove all the way from Somerset, a bit tired, but went out, went to the museum, I've taken pictures of several churches, and this is a St Mary the Virgin at Eaton Sock. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, anyway, this was a church I came with my friend Helen and Heather and Zara, Ian and Tan. We came here because Helen lived over this way at the time. And I've got a picture of us all. Well, they've got one of me, but I've got one because I took a picture of them. I've, I haven't got the one of me, but I've got the one of Helen and Heather and the kids in front of that old building there. I've just taken pictures of it. That's like where they used to lock up the drunkards and that. Anyway, I then realised this must have been the church that Sydney Thomas Toady, Thomas Sydney Toady, or one of somebody like that, um, 45 years ago when we wandered through this churchyard. We were going through here and uh, up before we leave at the other end of this path, there's the grave. Now, I couldn't remember where it was and I asked somebody inside the church earlier when I was having a look round and they got hold of the local historian and she came out. And she said, oh, I'll show you exactly where the grave is. So I've had a very interesting day. And not only that, with Sidney Thomas Toady, or Thomas Sidney Toady, he had a very sad ending. He'd just got married, and they were moving house, and he fell off the, the lorry that, um, he lost his balance, and um, he died. He was only 30 or 31. She told me the story. There's other people buried in the grave with him and other family, associated family names in a plot. She also took me inside the church and pointed out various features about the church that it had been burnt down in the 30s and totally rebuilt and various features. Uh, people were remembered by having little figurines carved into the stonework. Um... We've also got a very, very old tapestry there, very old, um, that needs to be preserved. Anyway, she took, she came from her home, somebody phoned her, she came out, and she took me to this grave. Now, I'd been around the churchyard on my own. I'd been all around, up there, down there, round there, but I didn't do that corner there. For some reason, I thought he must be down the sides. She took me here. I've taken photographs of the grave and of the lady. Can I told her the story how we found the toad on the grave of Sidney Thomas Toady or Thody. Now he's the one that died in 1954, age 31. Liveth the hearts of those we love is not to die. Yeah. Now he fell off the back of a lorry apparently and died. Then he just got married. So when we visited here 45 years ago there was a toad on his grave. It was really it was a strange thing. And then we took a picture. There's another um it looks like the same bloke but it's not because this one died in 1972 age 84 this could have been his dad the, he was the one that died was young he just got married so that was a, that was a very interesting story um, about him because we never knew anything about him when we first come across him 45 years ago we didn't know he'd died tragically and he just got married that's a very interesting story that is turned out warm again now so I'm going to share this little story with everyone 
and the lady who helped me is called Sue. She's a local historian. She brought out her map. She's given me a copy. And um, she's going to email me with more information. Isn't that nice of her? Right, I'm just going to turn off for a minute and take some more photos. This person here is also related. She's got this name. It's not You can't see it on the stone anymore. But she knew this man's name from the plot, the grave plot. Um, so it's all very interesting and she, like I just said, just for the record, there's more people in here that belong to the same family. There's a footstone for example there, look. This is a little raised plot of people that share this little area. Anyway, the other thing is, um, she took me for a little walk. It was starting to rain. I was a bit worried. We went down that lane over there, and she took me to show me the houses that um, Sydney Thomas and Thomas Sydney had built. And they used to own the farm here. There's, there's a house further over, and they owned the farm in this area. And we're talking about, you know... 100 years ago or something um so it's a lot of story come out of that and not only that they didn't know my side of it which they do now all right i've got to get back it's really good isn't it Right, St Mary's Churchyard.